What's up? I'm Sim Lupa. Today I'm going to go through some of my favorite riffs from one of my favorite guitar players, Tom Dumont from No Doubt. Um, he is largely underrated, I think, but um, let's check out some of his, his riffs. <laughs> Just a girl. And um, he has said that he didn't really know that many new wave bands, so he was trying to write a new wave. When he was trying to write a new wave, Riff, he was thinking of the B-52s, but just thinking about it um, this week, I was like, kind of sounds like Metallica or someone. <laughs> And most people who follow No Doubt know that he was originally into metal and was in a metal band before he joined No Doubt. And then he kind of melded the styles together of the band and his um, preference. Um, and then there was also... That's new um, of their album Return of Saturn. Um, at first, I thought this was like a real super no wa new wavy kind of song, like the Cars or something. But just again thinking about it this week, I was like, no, it kind of sounds like Slayer or someone. <laughs> Tragic Kingdom, the song. Okay, so, so. But anyway, that to me kind of sounds a bit like Black Sabbath or someone. Um, again, I think he was like, couldn't help but show his influences. And I think it's cool. Um, next was uh, Don't Speak. And that one kind of sounds a bit like Aerosmith, the, the song Dream On. Um, and then I did... Excuse me, mister! That was more of a straight up kind of... Old school kind of punk. Garagey. Um, and then... I'm not sure if he came out with that or if it was Tony Canal, the bass player, because they both play it in the song. Um, but that is really cool. Maybe bass, it's pretty melodic, but um, he also has some cool licks in Sunday Morning, like 
just before the chorus. Which is kind of cool, it's kind of got that kind of dissonance. And he also has this little lick coming back into the verse. Which again kind of has a bit of dissonance ready. Um, and then it goes into the um, yeah, the whole song is just zany as it's awesome. It's like a perfect mix of rock and reggae and I don't know, something else. When I first heard it, I thought it was so weird, but awesome. Um, and then also, I didn't play it the start, but there's also um, spider webs. <laughs> So that's really cool. I don't know who that reminds me of. Maybe um, Iron Maiden, maybe? I don't know. The next bit kind of reminds me of Iron Maiden. <laughs> Yeah, so kind of a bit like Iron Maiden, I think, like it's got that little really bright, energetic kind of um, riffage and uh, yeah, it's awesome. I think Tom is kind of a real, I don't know, like obviously he has some cool riffs and um, some cool solos and melodic lines as well, but I think he's like a real kind of harmonic player because his, um, he's got awesome chord progressions, like I love in new. Oh, no, I can't remember that. And also like the little licks. Yeah, I think, and he's got like, you know. And he does a lot of solos where he does a lot of harmonics and um, bends and sounds. Yeah, he's really cool. He's, I think he's definitely a bit underrated, especially for melding like that metal in with like the pop and new wave, a little bit of ska. Um, so he's pretty versatile. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon.